So this is my new video on my new uh, OBD star DC706. So I bought only the ECU version to read ECU. Uh, I didn't buy the full version, so I bought only the ECU version. So I'm going to read um, EDC15C5 here, yeah. and it's a Jeep car. So what I'll do is, mostly now I don't know the ECU. If I don't know the ECU, I'll go to Bosch query so that they query it for me. So I'll use the Bosch number to identify the actual ECU that I want to read. So what I'll do is I'll input the 10 digit uh, ECU number. Then it will decode it for me and tell me the actual ECU or the actual ECU and the type of processor in it without me opening it. So I'll input it so that it will be able to do that. And I'm planning of getting the exhaust uh, multiprog also to compare for you guys so what i'll do is now click on ok to query the number and to decode it and give me the ecu type so this is the ecu type c527.17 so what i'll do is um one most of the time when you are doing it one thing i like about obd star and also exhaust also do it is when you go to the search button now I can select the vehicle, then go to the search button so that it will filter it quickly for me. So what I'll do is, I'll go to the search button and input the ECU type that the uh, query bot gave me. So my main reason why I bought this machine was because um, there were some issues that uh, Exos couldn't, uh, Exos Multipro couldn't do, but now it looks like due to updates they can do most or all of the ECUs that uh, OBD Star can do. So with this one, if I want to filter it properly, what I have to do is um, so OBD Star. One thing I like about them is they also give you the number of ECUs down. So that's the 18 you see at around the search so now i'll select the vehicle which is jeep so that it will filter the it will filter the list for me so select jeep and it filters it so the first thing so far as it's orange like this that means you can go to pinout you've selected the easy and obd star with our internet it can it will not work but I've not yet tried Multiprog and see if Multiprog without internet you can still read data. But OBD star without internet you can't read the data. And I'm here to find out maybe if your update or your subscription is off, you can still read data. Maybe you don't get the updated issues that come up. And I really like the way Multiprog is doing it. Then it gives updates always, like every two weeks or every month. You see them updating the system and i know because it's new so they will try to update most of the ecus so i'll do a comparison when my arrive so now i'll connect the ecu and read the eprom and the flash for now because the client brought that ecu that he wanted to clone but i'll read the eprom first yeah the eprom is not that much so it reads quickly so i'll just save it so that next time when it brings the uh the donor ecu i'll be able to identify the file and write it onto it so save it with his name so the og is the original then we'll save it and try and read the flash so I'm trying to go into ECU reading and uh, start reading ECUs after di doing the diagnosis. Then everything, will, most of the work will be in-house because sometimes you diagnose it in my country, you diagnose it and because you have to call other people to come and assist you, all the money goes to them and you don't make anything and they don't value the diagnosis. So 
you have to invest into tools that can make diagnosing easier and now the way the automotive world is going there is more restrictions on certain things mostly cars with um gateway there are more restrictions so you need to find another ways of doing things and mostly most of the gm cars do not have most of the gm cars do not allow you to program or no most of the gms do not allow you to program a use board so with this it can help you to do use board because you can change the VIN number or virginize the file then you rewrite it so that the ec becomes new or you can clone it so this is purposely for reading ecus and if you can see i'm reading the sectors and when you are doing that it takes some few minutes because the flash is a bit heavy and this is a k-line that i'm using i'm not using a can line so this is you connect to the vehicle on a k-line so we'll save this flash also then i know i'm done with i know i'm, I'm done i'm done with the reading so i'll wait for the client to bring the donor one so that later i write it on and anytime you are done you have to disconnect thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more